So as you talk about alleviating <coughs> some of the rigidity <coughs> in the system, will there be more opportunity to start and stop a Navy career to have an intermission for something like with women uh, focusing on family or even for men focusing on family um, and then returning to the Navy career and kind of picking up where you left off? Yeah, th there, is, there is a lot of focus on that MC1. And, and fundamentally it comes down to when CNO and I joined the Navy a few years ago, uh, w we had 30% of our force were married. Today it's over 70%, a lot more dependents out there, young kids. Uh, so the challenges have shifted. The demographics in our priorities have shifted when you're talking about managing people. And, and, and the system has not adapted as well or as quickly to that demand signal. So uh, the things we're looking at doing are family related, are focused on family because it, because it affects both men and women in our service. And I think uh, the better we're able to deal with the, the family related issues, the better we're going to be able to mm -hmm. deal with career flexibility in the future. So there are things out there like the Career Intermission Program that CNOs asked us to go out and expand the authority so that we can allow that for more people who are interested in doing it. Uh, we've seen great success stories about people who've taken a break for a year or two or three, come back in the Navy and continue to make milestones and, and, and uh, keep it a career. Those are things for starting school, starting a family, taking care of a loved one. There's so many things that challenge us on, on a day-to-day -day basis when you're a sailor uh, and sea duty, uh, that we have to have options. Otherwise, we're going to lose good people because they feel like they have no choice. Uh, AC to RC and back is an off-ramp off and on-ramp that I think we could do a lot more of. It, it further integrates the active force with the reserve force in a way that we've done over the last 15 years with IAs. Yeah. Uh, but now that we're pulling off that IA requirement in many re respects, are we going to pull away from that, that integration effort that we've had for so many years that we've learned has been very good for the Navy? I think we could do better on that front, too. So we're looking at a lot of different options. We're going to do more piloting to, to make sure we get it right. And then where we see success, build off that success and keep going. Great. Sounds like that integrated with a lot of the, the issues that you've been talking about, year groups and, and other, other efforts, is really going to reinvigorate the force to look at ways that they can, that they can stay and, and remain in service. So that's great to hear. Right.